Ohio State taking on Illinois uh, coming up this week. The Illibuck, uh, I'm sure that's on everyone's mind uh, right now. That's um, certainly uh, a prize to be uh, won and uh, maintained by the Buckeyes. I don't know the last time they lost to Illinois. What are we looking at, Kevin? Yeah, I, I, in my head. I just written about it. I know yeah, for a fact. Sure. It's been a well, no. They they haven't they haven't lost in Champaign since '91, but they've lost five times since then, all in Columbus. Um, oh you know, one. They I'm saying, oh, you got, don't forget the Mendenhall Juice Williams. Oh, game. 07. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that would be the last one. Oh seven. They got a scare in 06, despite being consensus number one. They got a scare on a cold day in Champaign the year before in 06. That's right. Oh one. Uh, they came down the stretch uh, during that rough season with uh, in, in Trestle's first year. They still had a chance to win the Big Ten championship the last couple of years. They were coming off a big a win over Purdue, uh, but they lost to Illinois on a couple of Craig Krenzel mistakes in relief of Steve Belisari uh, before they took on Michigan and won that game, of course, in Ann Arbor for the first time in forever. Yeah, those dead Jeff George era, they lost five straight and then – now, right Coop, after Coop, Coop couldn't beat Illinois. I mean, Coop, Coop couldn't beat Michigan. And Coop couldn't beat Illinois. I mean, losing to Lou Tepper and guys like that, there was just it was one of those confounding things during my very angry and confused collegiate days where uh, <laughs> Ohio State football was very different than it is today. Yes, Jason Ferdusco and, and company, but Jeff George, yeah. Five consecutive years. I believe the last year was 94, and then they suddenly flipped a switch. I think both programs to a certain extent. And uh, during the latter course of the 90s, there were a lot of like 56 nothing, 49 nothing kind of games against the Illini. Um, so I'd say Ohio State's got to be on guard. They're also a 30 point favorite. So I think it, the odds makers and the experts are thinking that if they get their offense up and rolling, it doesn't really matter what Illinois does because they're not going to score enough points. They haven't shown uh, that they're going to score enough points until last week uh, to beat a good team. So uh, to me, um, on guard, uh, start fast. Put them away early. Get some other guys in the game. You know, 45 to 14 is just fine. Get on the bus, go home, and, you know, move on is my feeling. A lot of people are talking up Illinois for – I don't know what reasons, whether it's the, oh, we're, we're, we're just, you know, we're just insulating ourselves because nobody really wanted to talk up Indiana last week or whatnot. Illinois has no shot, no shot in this game. I don't care. 2007 doesn't mean anything. I'm looking at the box score from the Nebraska game. Illinois ran for 285 and four touchdowns. If you think that Illinois is going to run for 285 and four touchdowns against Ohio State, you're drunk. And it's, 11. It's, it's even too early for day drinking right now. You're drunk. It's not going to happen. Ohio State does need to get out fast, make it to a point of where Illinois has to throw the ball because Brandon Peters couldn't cut it at Michigan. He's he's barely cutting it at Illinois. So, no, they, they, they have no opportunity. Mike Epstein, Chase Brown are both good backs. They both rush for 113 and 110, respectively. But, you know, I see Illinois rushing maybe for about a buck 20 tops in this game and i think brandon peters i think this is going to be a game where the ohio state secondary is really going to be on notice i see them forcing at least two interceptions if not three i'm i'm, I'm supposed to go last that way i can make the best pick now i will go uh 52 17 ohio state clearly i think uh the illinois defense has, has had its moments but ohio state right now is a balanced offensive attack I think Illinois won't be able to run the ball as well. And, and and if they can, then now we've got a new issue for Ohio State's defense. But I think they'll do okay running. And I don't think they have the the quarterback to hurt Ohio State in the pass defense as much as uh, Indiana did. And so I think fewer points given up, fewer big plays given up, some things being tightened up. I don't know that it means anything against Illinois, but I like Ohio State to cover. Yeah, I uh, I have 56-17. I don't think that we're going to see Ohio State attempt a field goal until it absolutely has to attempt a field goal. That certainly is a problem at two and five on the season, two out of five on the season. Um, I don't think Illinois is going to be able to do much offensively. I think you're going to see Ohio State come out, maybe keep its foot on the accelerator a little bit longer in this game. And as I'd mentioned earlier, even if it is a matter of bringing twos and threes in. 
you have to start. You have to keep running the ones offense. You can't be running student body left, student body right. Uh, I think Illinois will pop off a couple of plays. I don't think that we're going to see an overnight fix to where all of a sudden Ohio State's defense is immaculate, but they'll take a major step in the right direction. They'll harass Brandon Peters, and I like Ohio State to win this one big. Tim, John, yeah. just – I'm sorry, go Steve. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll just say 48-14 just to move it away from the line. The line's 30, and I like to be a few points away from the line. So I think I'm now 34. So 48-14, I, I agree. I think – this is an important game for Ohio State, and particularly the defense. They need to play two solid halves and get stops and, uh, you know, not allow big plays. And I don't think Illinois is a big play offense by any stretch of the imagination unless they hit a big run or something. So uh, I think Peters is more of a station-to-station -station kind of guy. But uh, we'll see, uh, you know, how it plays out. But uh, I think Ohio State's offense is just going to keep right – on churning, you know, down the down the road, fifty or near it, pretty much every week, and uh, you know, particularly against these teams that that don't have the pedigree. You know, I think it, it's it's one thing, okay, if you're playing a, a, you know, I mean, they put six hundred yards up against the number nine team in the country last week, so I don't think Illinois' defense is going to be probably as good as Indiana's, and you know, I haven't looked at all the rankings and everything, but. Uh, at any rate, 48-14, that's what I'll go with. And uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Be safe. And, uh, you know, we're going to be here hopefully every week. I joked in our little internal chat, has, has this game been canceled yet? Because a lot of them are going by the wayside uh, with each passing uh, hour, it seems like. 